We met eight years prior on a general meeting, and then oh. we reconnected on Jumping the Broom, which actually, oddly, was about a movie about a young woman who waited to have sex with her husband before she got married. And you must be a real <laughs> method actor, then. <laughs> 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 Whose so, yeah. idea was this? Um, both of ours. He actually had been celibate for almost 11 years. What? <laughs> yeah, because, because he's a minister, so he didn't want to get up on the pulpit and do his thing and then not be doing what he was saying. So. Why? That's what yeah. most ministers do. Hey, hey. <laughs> Well, not mine. <laughs> wow, that is yeah. remarkable. So you guys wrote a book. Is this like a how-to? Because it seems pretty self-explanatory. Uh, <laughs> no, but you know what? You'd be surprised. I mean, it's it's. It, I mean, obviously, we all know that it's tough, but it was. There were tricks that we learned that actually helped. But the book is not just about. Wait, give me one trick. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was, you know, parting ways when it's time to part ways. You know, if you feel like it's getting too hot and heavy and you just have to go. Never go near each other. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter eight. <laughs> wow, that is something else. Yeah. And so at the wedding now, this must have been, uh, did you rush through the ceremony? Oh, it's God. like, uh, no cake, thank you, we're gonna. Well, the crazy thing is that we wanted the wedding to be right when the sun went down. So it was supposed to go down at like six or seven o'clock that evening and it didn't. The sun was off schedule? The sun was off schedule. <laughs> Schedule, which Even the really <laughs> stressed me out. So we waited like an hour and a half, which worked out fine because I actually had a bridesmaid who didn't show up until 20 minutes before we actually walked down, which would have been an hour and Are you kidding me? That. Yeah. You were waiting to consummate your relationship and your bridesmaid. Yeah. <laughs> was late. Was late? Yeah. Do you still speak to her? I do. I you do. You do? Yes. But harshly, right? No! <laughs> she's she's an interesting person. She's, like, bigger than life, so I, I can't say that she's I'm... She's a pain in the ass, is what you're trying to say. <laughs> but you love her, besides that. I do, I do. So then everybody knows, everybody must... Everyone... This must be on everyone's mind yeah. there at the wedding. Oh, yeah, that was, like, the topic of all the speeches. <laughs> oh, no! There was, at one point, his cousin, who I loved to pieces, he got up and he kind of said this whole spiel about how he knew he couldn't wait and how he knew he was working out, and it kind of just went totally left, and at a certain point, he has eight aunts, and they were all kind of looking like, are we, are we really talking about this in front of everybody? Like, it went really, really left. <laughs> so, yeah, needless to say, that was a top.